Mr. Wayne. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Whenever you, uh, get done here? I'll be down in a few. No worries. I'll, uh, start without you. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the Agency's Behavioral Analysis Unit. We just came by to ask a few questions? Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, can I get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? Don't worry. This won't take long. This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham, yet you still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. What's that all about? My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must be difficult to get out from under it. What, uh... What is it you want? The agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months, but haven't been able to find him. Anything I can help with? See, I told you he'd be cooperative. Agent Blake thought you'd be cagey, defensive, based on your history. Guess he was wrong. My, uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend, Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. The criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm not sure I like where this conversation is going. This probably isn't going to help. I think you'd know him as John Doe. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the sound of it, you two were close. John may very well say that, yes. But not you. A conversation in a mental hospital does not make us friends, much less close. I see. According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. I saw you flee after John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Several people were hurt. I wasn't myself at the time, okay? I, I was... Drugged by Lady Arkham. I know the story. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. <laughs> Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. I did not agree to that. <laughs> Why would he write down my name? It's obvious. You're important to him. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another, like a web. And you, my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. I'm sorry, are you, are you accusing me of something? Should we be? You know more than you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. 
Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. I am calling my lord. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. 